Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. I am super excited because we are back and working on the C63 AMG. And if you guys saw the previous episode, we did get all that bottom section of the rocker panel repaired. And in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and finish all that up. And we still need to mud that piece, or not mud that piece, I'm sorry. We need to weld that piece and mud that piece, which is tucking right behind this door, which I'll show you guys right in a little bit. We're gonna get it all welded up and looking pretty. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and lightly tap that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and smash that like button to show your support. In this video, we're gonna get a ton of work done. You guys know that we got this quarter panel basically all fixed up, but there's still some little bit of minor work over here. We're gonna get our spot welder out, get all the dents out, make sure everything is perfect. Now, I did wanna sneak peek one thing to you guys. I think I told you guys in the last episode, but that ECU is currently off the car right now. So if you guys have any idea of what's going on, then uh, go ahead and comment down below. But let's go ahead and get that welded in and continue with the video. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weld all of this in look at those lines man all this stuff looks so pretty i still got to prep around these spot welds but lines are nice and neat everything here is ready for welding we got to weld this bottom section it's gonna be a little bit difficult to weld this bottom section just because the metal under here is much thicker than this one so i got to play with the welder a little bit um besides that if you guys have not seen the previous episode, this is exactly where we left off on. We're gonna very, very quickly do that piece just because we did a lot of the work on the previous episode on that piece and there was a lot of welding stuff like that. So be sure to check that video out. On uh, this episode, we're gonna be focused on getting this rear section pulled out. So let's get that quickly all mocked up, welded in and sanded down um, before we start mudding any of that. So I think we put a rough case of mud over there and a rough piece over here just to see the body line, make sure the gaps are nice and neat. And then while that is drying, we can continue pulling on this. We gotta get this gap just 100% perfect. It's a little bit tight and I'm not really liking it. This car deserves a perfect rear end. It already has a really beautiful rear end, but let's get that welded up. Alrighty, before we do get too far into the video because I am definitely getting carried away trying to get this whole entire Mercedes buckled out and all pretty for you guys. I wanted to tell you guys about Throttle. You guys may know Throttle from building some epic builds. They've had a super clean WRX STI wide body which was just absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. I love that blue color with that lime accents. We had the 335 build, we had the MR2 build, we had the 240SX build which was just crazy but Right now they have a 2003 Evo 8 which is completely built as well and they want to give it away to one of you guys. Let's go ahead and look over this Evo 8 which is absolutely stunning in my opinion. It has got a stage 3 custom paint job by SOS Customs which just completely glisters in the sun. It's got only 55,000 miles and like any of my cars that car carries a clean title. Yeah, kind of roasted myself, but it is what it is. It is running on a pure turbo, which is upgraded turbo, and running on E85 fuel. Dude, that sucker screams, trust me on that. It's got some Moton clubs for suspension, save on carbon fiber hood, new stop tech brakes all around. The car is absolutely mint. All right, now that I got your attention, let me tell you guys one thing. The sweepstakes ends September 30th. Yes, we got a couple more days left, so go ahead and quickly secure your entries. And the way to secure your entries, Throttle made it extremely easy. Every single $1 spent on their website is an entry to win. Not only do they have some epic merch, hats, anything you want, key tags, stickers, they do have a bunch of aftermarket brands because they're a retailer for over 350 brands. So basically, you can buy yourself an aftermarket part that you want for your car, and with that, you can secure yourself an entry for 2003 Mitsubishi Evo 8 which is completely gorgeous so throttle was nice enough to give my viewers a coupon code called BYB Tim so use coupon code BYB Tim in the first link down below secure your entries get 15% off get entered I hope you win and let's continue with this video we got everything here welded in and it's been a couple of days actually since we're taking this video from the last one uh, just because we had a little Cali trip and a lot of things going on we did get the seat belts and whole interior stripped out pulled apart and all the seat belts off and maybe you guys saw a sneak peek of the color of seat belts that are going into this car but 
the interior video is going to be coming out next week we're going to go ahead and assemble this whole entire interior we got all the airbags is going to be looking pretty so that's just a little update for you guys and then here the welds were just kind of funny in some places i don't know why they were acting up either the welder was acting up because it was just being weird but regardless we're going to knock everything down it's going to look pretty it's going to look oem right now what we got to do is actually exactly what i just said knock everything down apply some mud here like i said earlier in the video apply mud here and continue getting that rear piece of the quarter panel all dialed in we got everything pulled out the gaps are looking very pretty but now it's our time to get the spotter out and go get all the minor stuff drilled out and everything perfect before we apply our first layer of mud so let's get right into it Alrighty, well, like we said earlier in the video, everything's gonna get knocked down, and it is knocked down now. It's feeling very nice and flush. It does look a little bit ugly, but many of you guys request on on you know what exactly goes step after step. So right now, what we're gonna do is get an 80 grit sandpaper, put it on a DA, and get all this stuff knocked down. And the reason why we're using 80 grit is because we really want that body filler to stick really nice and well to this um, material here or anyways this you know this rocker panel or whatever you want to call this so we're gonna knock everything down make sure it's all nice and flush apply some body filler here all around um, because it goes body filler then seam sealer on top body filler and then all that stuff gets painted um, and then we're gonna apply some right here I'm gonna knock this section down it's gonna be pretty big right around here because I got to make this you know body line really clean and professional right here I got to add just a millimeter of glaze or body filler just to get that gap nice and flush and then I gotta create the body line here because it was completely destroyed.
So I went ahead and prepped out this panel over here and it's technically ready for body filler, but I noticed one, two, three little dents. And then we have like a dent and a low spot right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and reverse this kind of, you know, hammer that in and pull this up, make sure it's nice and flush. That way we minimize on the amount of body filler we use. So let's get our spot welder out because we're still gonna need it for the rear section. And uh, we're gonna get this thing connected, get those things out, get this piece mudded out and start working on the rear. So things are now mudded out. This part over here was a little bit tricky and this is just a rough base. A lot of this is gonna get knocked down. You know, we put a lot of mud on, but the reason why is just so I would have to mud it 10, 15 times or you guys get the point. I'm trying to pile it up, knock it down, get everything shaped out how I need to and then start filing, you know, start doing my proper um, finish work. That way it looks pretty, but the rough draft needs to happen. Got the dents filled in, got that over there filled in. For now, everything's looking pretty on that side. Let's go ahead and transfer over here. Let's get our spot welder out, start knocking down this paint over here and just seeing how it wants to work with us. We did a little bit of damage right over here in a couple of spots. So we're gonna go ahead and play with everything, fluctuate everything into its position. Then we can knock all this down and apply some body filler. Man, this is gonna be a challenge, but pretty sure the result will be looking absolutely perfect. So as you guys saw in previous episodes, we got all the rough work with the quarter panel done. We did all our frame pulling and now is the tedious, very annoying, but very precise work. We got a spot welder loaded up and I'm marking low spots, high spots, and I'm feeling how these things, you know, just kind of, there's a low spot right here, kind of knock down everything that needs to be worked with. And then this will actually probably expand even more. And then the Bondo or the body filler will go even further. So let's get right into it. Can't really tell on camera how it looks like, but it's pretty bad so far. And if you can tell right here, look at this. Look how this stuff comes out, watch. Look at it. I don't know if you can see on camera, but. Boom, very slowly. Very casually comes out and it feels absolutely amazing right here, a little more. And then a lot of spots, for example, there's a low spot right here. And actually, let's see, there's a low spot and a high spot. So there's a high spot right here and a low spot right here. What I would do is I would hit it where the low spot is and then I would put tension on it. And with a little hammer, like so, I would hit the low spot. And now what happens is it kind of reverses the low spot. Now that low spot and the high spot are now flush. Feeling really nice. The tail light is just in there. It's not bolted down or anything. I need it to make sure that I get this whole entire pocket properly set. Put you guys on a time lapse, show you guys some cinematic shots, get this quarter panel all dialed out.
So as you guys saw over there, some of you guys may be questioning, what were you doing with the spot puller? Uh, I guess this back end attachment of it, right over here, this piece here actually shrinks metal. So you set the spot puller on a shrinking setup, and then you go ahead and do exactly what I did. And let me explain why I needed to shrink what needed to be shrunk is because for those OG people that saw this quarter panel initially when we just got the car, I was like kind of freaking out. I was like, man, we gotta switch this thing. This thing is bad. But kind of working with it, we got it to where it needs to be. And I am very happy. Like the gap here is just beautiful and it's just looking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the trunk gap, everything's lined up. This is for me a shocker. This is the hardest quarter panel I've ever done in my life. But let me explain why I used that little um, shrinker, metal shrinker. So when it was hit in there, it kind of, uh, kind of you can see these where I shrunk it. It's kind of where it folded in there super hard. And when we pulled everything back out, this metal here stretched. It actually stretched a lot and it was like a bulge. When I shrunk it a bunch, it basically went down to where it's supposed to be and it's looking pretty right now. Right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and get the 80 grit um, DA, knock the rest of the stuff down. We do have a little dent up here, which needs to be situated. And we're gonna put our rough draft of mud. We wanna get this all looking nice and pretty. And then the next episode, we're actually gonna do our final work on, you know, on top of the mud work. And then we have a lot of work inside over here, which is gonna be kind of annoying and pretty tedious work. So stay tuned. Let's get this all knocked down and apply the first layer of glaze. Well, 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 boys, I'm gonna leave you guys off right over here and let's just quickly walk around the progress. We got all this body filled in, everything repaired over here. Does need some seam sealer, which will be in the next episode alongside with basically proper body work. This right here is all just rough drafted on and for those of you guys that know how body work works, basically you slap that first layer on, make sure you can get everything nice and perfect and then you start working with the glaze and all that stuff. This quarter panel here just kind of blew my mind and I was, was, this was initially in the beginning it was a little bigger pill than I can swallow but I'm very happy that I got it done just because I'm happy that I know that I'm capable of this like this was a tough one here's a picture 
boom that's pretty insane and for those new viewers smash that subscribe button if you guys want to see some cool content anyways with all that being said thank you so much to throttle um go ahead and use code byb tim to get 15 percent off on throttle and get your entries in to win a 2003 mitsubishi evo that is completely built and just super beautiful in my opinion if you guys want to support the channel please copy yourself some merch uh we have an og one right here that's always on the website we got some new ones as well thank you so much for everything go ahead and drop a comment down below smash that like button and i'll catch you guys in the next episode peace out